In this video, we're going to look at how to graph quadratic equations on your TI graphing calculator and then use the information to graph them on paper by hand. So let's say that we want to graph f of x equals negative one-third x squared plus two x plus three. To start, let's put the information into the graphing calculator. We'll press y equals and then I'm going to enter in the right side of the equation right up here. So I'm going to use parentheses. Make sure that you're using this negative sign and not that minus sign when you're saying negative one-third. Punch in negative one divided by three. Close the parentheses and then put an x. And also we want to remember to square that x. A lot of times we forget to do that by accident. And then I'll enter in the rest of this plus 2x. Here is where we use the subtraction sign for minus 3. And I'll go ahead and hit graph. Now in order to graph the quadratic equation well on paper, we really need to figure out what the vertex is. Now I cover this more in detail in my video entitled Finding the Vertex of a Parabola, but I'm going to briefly review it here. Press second calc and we want to choose either three or four. Now because the parabola has a vertex that occurs at a maximum, we're going to select four. And we want to select a left bound, just any point to the left of the vertex. That's probably a good place right there. And then I'm going to move the little cursor over and move it directly to the right of the vertex and select the right bound press enter and now we want to guess and I want to move it right on top of the vertex and press enter and you can see that the vertex has the coordinates 3 0 and we want to ignore that little 9 at the end it, that's just the calculator acting weird now that we know the vertex, it's time to graph this parabola on paper. Now, we don't want to just copy the graph from the graphing calculator. It's going to look sloppy. We need to have some actual points. So there are two ways that we can do this. We can either just substitute x values into f of x and do a lot of calculations to make the table of values by hand, or we can press second graph to access the graphing calculator's table of values. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if I press second graph, you see that it gives you a whole table of values right here. So we can just look at this. Here's the vertex right here. I recommend picking three x values to the left of the vertex and three x values to the right of the vertex. So we basically want to just go ahead and copy down all of these values. So here's what I've got, and you can see I've copied down the vertex, and then I've copied down my other points. I'm going to go ahead and plot these points on the graph right here, and once I get that, I get something that looks like this right here, and I've gone ahead and labeled these points as well. Now, someone asked me in a previous comment how to find the equation of the axis of symmetry, and this is very easy to do once you know what the vertex is. First of all, what is the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is the line, the vertical line, that goes right through the parabola. It is literally the line of symmetry. And this is a vertical line, so it's going to take the form x equals 3, because all of the points on this line have an x value of 3. So there's the equation of your axis of symmetry. It's just going to be x equals 3. If you have any more questions, feel free to write a comment below.